Wolong Fallen Dynasty is Neo 3 in everything but the name. It's an action Souls-like from Team Ninja, and it looks awesome. So stick around for some gameplay and my early impressions of the next evolution in the Neo franchise. So the first big change you'll notice right away is your traversal abilities. You can jump and move around in environments that are way less closed off than in both Neo and Neo 2. This game just feels a lot bigger in scale, and in scope for that matter. As far as landscapes, think more along the lines of Sekiro than Neo. The graphics are similar to Neo 2, but with an added level of detail, polish, and more notably, artistic freedom. Team Ninja has always been known for their detailed character designs, especially with some of the absurdly wonderful enemies and bosses. But early indications point toward a truly unique and inspired art direction. The gameplay feels a bit heavier than in past games, if that makes any sense. Each and every hit has a nice sense of weight and impact to it. Again, the Sekiro influence here is very, very clear, and I love it. Another returning feature from both Strangers of Paradise and Neo games is the Loot Fest. Say what you will about an abundance of loot in a Souls game, but it honestly never bothered me. I kind of just stuck to my longsword build in both Neo and Neo 2 and ignored everything else. However, it was awesome that there were different combat options available to me. I would sometimes gravitate toward the dual axes, for example, as an on-the-fly ranged secondary. But for the most part, the depth of combat in the longswords alone was enough to keep me engaged for hundreds of hours over the course of two games. This game seems to be no different in that regard. Combat is fun and versatile, and the looting system just adds a level of variety that I can't help but appreciate. Sometimes it gets annoying to constantly optimize your gear, but for the most part, I welcome the loot. Ranged combat has a bit of a snappier and overhauled feel, but it's honestly close to the same, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, the, the demo for this game has me extremely impressed. It's a more polished, AAA-looking Souls-like game from a developer that already did it super well. The changes to gameplay are welcome and fit very well, but the way the game feels is so much more important. I can't emphasize this enough. Cool characters and higher quality sound design, open environments, and far superior level design has me extremely excited for this game. It wasn't on my radar before, but Wolong Fallen Dynasty definitely is now.